everyone, how are you doing today? It's been a while, I haven't done a video, so I'm gonna start off with a new laptop that we have here. It's a used one, and this one is a gaming Asus ROG. Uh, this one is an iCore 7, 7th gen, and it comes with a GeForce 1060, I believe. And this one has a faulty keyboard on it, so there's a missing key right there. And some some of the keys work and some don't work. So pretty much we're gonna replace the whole keyboard. Mm -hmm. These are a mesh keyboard we call them because they go from underneath and they go right into the spaces right between this grind. So I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to change it. Alright, first thing first, you wanna remove all the screws at the bottom cover, uh, right at the bottom of the laptop. The front row screws at the front of the laptop. They are going to be a little bit shorter screws. The side and the back ones are a little bit longer and they are color coordinated with a red lock on them. Alright, so once we remove all the screws, you're going to grab yourself a guitar pick or something uh, prior to. So, and we're going to put the laptop, open it up a little bit, keep it in this position. And what we're going to do, we're going to stick the guitar pick right between the bottom cover and top cover and we're gonna wiggle it around to the sides and this one just came out yours you might have to go a little bit to the sides a little more so yeah All right. now that we got the bottom cover and as you can see the ventilation on this one is not so great it's supposed to have some kind of opening right there air so the air can go right through instead of pulling the air from the mid area which is more stressful for the vents so let's put this one to the side All right. this one goes over the NVMe hard drive I guess yeah, there's one right over here too you can pull them apart again you can pull put them back into later one All right. First thing first, I'm gonna go right straight to the keyboard. So you wanna remove the battery. First we're gonna unlock the battery, unhook it, just put the tweezers right underneath and lift it up. Now we're gonna remove one screw, two, three, four screws in front of the battery. Once you remove the screws, just lift up the battery. Next, let's do the easy ones. We're gonna unhook the ribbon cable for the keyboard. Right there, lift up the lock. And pull out the ribbon cable. Do the same thing for the backlight. Lift up the lock. This is the touchpad. The front LEDs. And what else we have? We have the speakers. We're gonna unhook this one. Let's go ahead and unhook the cables for the fan. Fan cables. Also, we're gonna remove the LCD cable right over here. Just pull up this flat thing right here. Straight out. And we wanna unhook it from here. There's a screw holding this kind of whatever cloth is right there. So let's leave it right there for a second. We're gonna remove the hard drive by removing four screws that hold the caddy. All right, now we can go ahead and slide the hard drive towards the front and pull out. Next, we're gonna remove the Wi-Fi board which is in the corner here. And just pull out in 45 degree. Next, just pull out the cables. Remember the white goes with the white. The black goes with the one. Actually, it doesn't matter if you put it the other way around, but yeah. Run the cable out. Okay, what else we have here? The NVMe hard drive, we're not gonna pull out. We're not gonna do many stuff right there. So, let's see, we're gonna remove the fan. I'm guessing the fan is plugged to the heatsink on the other side. So just remove the screws. I'm not too sure if the screws are attached to the other side of the board, so 
let's say for the sake of I'm gonna put it back together this one might but this one not because it has a riser on the side so let's remove the screws for, for the motherboard one right there and the second one is right there and there I'm gonna remove these ones three also we're gonna remove the screws for the hinges but the motherboard goes in between the hinges and the top cover all right same thing for the other side now we want to open the hinges a little bit so just pull up the hinges and this one is pretty hard right there so we're going to lift up the motherboard a little bit there is a screw right there we're going to remove this screw and there's one more right on this side So yeah, so we're gonna lift up the monitor from this end. So it was necessary to remove this screw right there, but not these two other ones on the fan. So for the sake of this one, I'm gonna put the two screws back in on this side and that one over there. So you only have to remove the screw on the side by the USB, the one right in the middle, the obviously the hinges. The one right in here, the mid, and the last one there, and the hinges on the other side. And you want to lift up the motherboard from wherever you have your Thunderbolt or HDMI. Lift it up from there, and you want to pull it out because the jack, the audio jack, has to slide out. So, pull it out, and there you have it. Okay, lots of copper wrapping here. So what we have here, we have one DIMM slot on the RAM here and the other RAM is already soldered on the board. I'm guessing this is an 8 gig because in total it has 16 gig. So 8 and 8, 16. Alright, All right, let's put the motherboard to the side. I'm gonna make another video based on the motherboard. Alright, now we have the keyboard right down here. So what do you want to do? You want to lift up this black cover. You have to pull this tape. If we're gonna reuse this one because the one that we bought it doesn't come with it. They usually don't ship with the protection. Alright, so put this to aside. We have one more stuff to remove. We'll just lift up this side here. Again, this is copper tape right here. Lift up the hinges. And the keyboard goes right underneath. Right there. In order to get to the keyboard, we still have to remove this metal plate right on top. And this is the messed up part, which I don't like about these laptops. What they have, they have this kind of melted plastic ribbons right on top of this plate. And in order to remove the plate, you have to melt down these ribbons right here or just cut them down with a some kind of sharp knife. You're you going to cut one or each one of these out to remove the plate. What I usually do, I use this one right here, it's kind of pointy, sharp, right there. And in order to push it, I'm not going to hurt myself, so I just put kind of cloth right there, so I can actually push it. So what we're going to do, we're going to rip this ones off. One. There's no other way, this is the only way, so don't think like this is not the proper way, this is the most proper way of doing this 
and you're gonna do all this all around don't go too hard you're gonna scratch the thing or break some ribbon cable just be careful control your force and with these cables I usually pull them out out of the way so I don't wanna accidentally rip them There's ones right there too, so they are everywhere. I don't know if you get a MacBook. The only thing I like about the MacBook keyboard, they have the same style, a mesh one, but they have actual screws. They have like a 20, 30 screws to put back, and so the putting it back is much more easier on those. And as this one, you're gonna be surprised what we have to go through to put the keyboard back here. Yeah. I'll call this the taking part off is really easy putting it back part it's kind of pain so we're gonna rip this paper we're gonna put it back in after it wants to be done and there are actually some in the middle so you gotta do lots of lots of winning here. So pretty much you wanna scrap everything on top of the every ribbon. But the keyboard is right there. So we're gonna continue doing this one. I might have to fast forward this part, so... Alright, I think I'm done now. Oh, I still have some more. There's more underneath on this side. And always when you finish you you think you're done, you just big in. Don't knock out these ones, these two, you don't need to knock these ones out. Alright, now we're gonna try to lift it up from one corner. Right. You wanna lift it up but without bending the plate. Here, so let's see if we missed any. I believe there's one missed one somewhere. There has to be something that is missing. Right, we're gonna put up right underneath here. There we go. So this is the bottom, the plate that holds the keyboard and gives some kind of form. Now, in order to remove the keyboard, we have more work to do here. Now, we need to go ahead and pick up it slowly. There's more ribbons right here. So you want to lift up, but we still gotta remove these ones. Not the ones that we already flattened up. Don't cut those out. We're gonna use those. Cut the ones down, the ones that actually have a flat head. So we wanna go with the flat head ones. Alright, now we have the keyboard out. What are we gonna do? We're gonna clean up the workplace. Yes. This is why we call mesh keyboard because this one's the new keyboard has to go from underneath on top. And those things that we've been pulling out are these ribbons right here. And 
you're not going to be able to put every ribbon, so it's going to be something that you're not going to feel unevenly, so there's nothing you can do about it. It's just a product that you purchased. We're going to try to fix it as much as we can. We want to make sure everything is aligned. As you can see, the original one has a longer cable, and this one has a way shorter cable. And I'm guessing it's okay. It should reach to where it's supposed to be. So I'm not too worried about that. Even the keyboard. Well, but the keyboard is longer, so they give you a longer on keyboard and they give you shorter on a LED backlight. Anyway, so we're gonna set the keyboard down in the mesh in its place. Make sure it's nice and tight in there. For now, I'm gonna remove the screen on the bottom. So, we're gonna push the corners, sorry, all the ones that we can actually get in. I'm actually using my other finger to push from the other side, right in between these lines, between the buttons. Because we wanna get all those plastics right through the holes all right that should be all so we got the new keyboard here and if you look some of the keys are really nice and bumpy outside and some are really sitting flash with the cover so that's why we need to fix this ones and now the hard part is we have to find a plastic rod to melt back again on these plastics because if we don't have extra plastic, there's nothing to reach. Hard to explain. Right, we're gonna put the top cover. Alright, I think I'm gonna pull the backlight through here because I have a shorter cable. So, right. we wanna push this one down. Ah, the keyboard has to go through this line too. So, right there. Press them as much as you can, gently, not too hard. Hold this. So what we, what I do is really easy for me to do. I'm gonna go to my soldering station. I'm just gonna grab my soldering station. I'm just gonna start melting down this plastic. We are holding it down and melting it one by one. And the ones that actually don't reach on this side, we're gonna find a plastic rod and we're gonna melt it with the southern station and we're gonna reach the ones that actually are short. But as soon as you cut them, you are missing the plastic. Uh, so there's not enough plastic here to come over so you can melt, so you can actually patch it down. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna melt plastic right on top of each with a plastic rod. You can buy them in a home hardware stores. Or some other, some tiny ones. So we're gonna use a uh, soldering station and stick of plastic, uh, holding it down, and we're gonna go over every ribbon right here. And I'll be back right after I'm done with this. All right. Now that we put back the plate, I put on again. I melted some plastic, black one and white one, with a plastic rod, and I put back again the the base on so the see the motherboard is gonna grab from this space and this space is gonna grab the from the keyboard let's call it and in some corners it's gonna grab from the screws but what can I do you can make it better anyway after putting the plastics on and the holes you wanna grab the cover and you're gonna put the protective cover back on before that, put the tape 
the isolating tape in place. Pull the kick. Make sure everything is neat in, in the place. The tape on this side. There's an adhesive tape right here. You can just peel it off or you can just leave it. I'll usually leave it. I don't need to pull it out. The only thing that I'm worried about that this backlight uh, cable is not gonna reach all the way. So this is a off-market keyboard, so it's not the original one. So if it doesn't reach, what can you do? You gotta work with what you got. All right, we're gonna grab the motherboard. We didn't have to disconnect the fans, but I already did it. So put the motherboard in place. Remember this side, the power, the audio jack side goes down first. Pull the cables underneath the power speakers. And slightly put it on. Uh, it will reach just fine. I thought it was really far, but no. Actually, I get extra already. So make sure everything is in place. The keyboard we could use to bend it inward and then bring it up because I'm gonna have a, like a large portion on this side. So I am gonna actually take it back again. And what I'm gonna do. We're going to peel off this adhesive tape right there. We're going to put it right there. And there's one more adhesive tape right here. So I'm actually going to leave it like that. Put this one in. I'm gonna put the keyboard in and then I'm gonna just press down on this side so the tape will stay at the correct size so I don't have extra coming down that way. Alright, now that we got everything in place, plug in the audio. First thing first, put the power jack for the fan jacks. Alright, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate the backlight. And we're gonna stick them in there, the trackpad and the front LEDs. Alright, now we're gonna close down the hinges. Let's see. We're gonna put the two white screws on each side. And we're gonna put the three screws on the hinges. Alright, oh, and the middle screw, this one is going to cover the flex cable cloth right there. And then we're going to plug in the LCD cable jack. It just pushes down the jack. And yeah, now we're going to put the screws, the three screws on the motherboard. It's starting from the hard drive side. One towards the RAM and one still by the SSD hard drive. Right there. You're gonna grab the Wi Fi board, plug in the cables first, that's the easiest way, and then put the screw. Next, we're gonna grab the battery. 
slide down the front end of the laptop, the battery right in front, right there. Now put it down, put the screws for the battery, there should be four of them. There's the battery. Next, you're gonna grab the hard drive, slide down the hard drive, put the four screws for the hard drive. All right. Now, if you don't want to put these ones on, put them on. But I believe one was right over here. And they don't stick, so you have to put them again. I don't like to put in them because now they're not going to stick and they're just going to go around and they're going to cover the ventilation. So you don't need to put these ones on. The only reason they put these ones in here is to cover these ventilations right here. So pretty much. So when you look through the vents over here, so you don't get to see the motherboard, so you get to see some black cover. That's the only reason they put this ones in there. But I will say remove this one so you have more air going through the laptop. So there's no big deal. Last thing last, we're gonna put the, hold on a second, I still have one more screw here. And this screw goes right by the fan. We're gonna grab the bottom cover, put the fan side down, and let's push down the sides, not the middle, the back, and then you're gonna put the big red ones from the mid towards the back end, and the blue painted ones, the shorter ones, in the front row. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.